Hey, this is Angie for Happy Healthy Vegan, and I'm finally back with another recipe demo. So this is for french fries and ketchup. By request for all folks who saw the pictures that um, I posted at uh, instagram.com slash happy healthy vegan. Now one caveat, the um, french fries were actually inspired by recipes that we'd seen by both Freely the Banana Girl and Bananiac. And uh, so those recipe demos are already online. Don't sue me bro. Uh, but uh, neither of them posted ketchup with it and uh, everyone seemed to be really excited about um, the ketchup recipe so I am sharing this at your request. And now I learned this tip from the two of them. Having parchment paper on your, um, your baking pan um, allows you to not use any oil in the recipe so that's just great and uh, so we picked some of that up at the local market. Now other than that, it's pretty cinchy. You need some potatoes, and we've used many different types of potatoes for this dish. Of course, um, we've used the classic Idaho potatoes, which really taste like a french fry. Um, we've also done sweet potatoes, which are amazing, and actually, for me, taste way better without the ketchup. Um, we even used uh, Japanese sweet potatoes, which are amazing as well. Um, but these are a special hybrid potato that we get from uh, one farmer here at our local market. They call it a Laker Baker because it's half purple and half yellow potato. So that gives it um, some interesting qualities. Both blue potatoes um, and um, a, a more traditional white or yellow potato can be really good for baking. Here's something you guys probably wonder about sometimes. See that? These are the little roots growing out, and in fact, if you were to cut this into a couple pieces and put it in the ground, you would grow a new potato plant. And I know because we've tried it. But uh, anyways, these aren't really dangerous to eat. I checked with the farmers actually, so um, I used to be nervous about that. Now I just, just use my fingernail to remove them. So beyond a bowl of your favorite potatoes, um, you may want some toppings. I'm gonna actually just put some uh, herbs of Italy from Frontier on these. I finally realized that they have a couple of blends that don't have any onions and garlic, so this is an onion and garlic free one. Feel free to use um, a seasoning salt that has onions and garlic if you have that in your diet. Now as far as the homemade ketchup goes, I've tried a few things and it really does seem like tomato paste um, really has the consistency and flavor that I'm expecting in ketchup. I tried my regular Pomi brand strained tomatoes and it just wasn't the same. And uh, I'm pretty sure if I were to use my early spring tomatoes it would not be anything like ketchup. So as summer goes on I'll probably try to develop a new ketchup recipe using fresh tomatoes. But for now an organic tomato paste will do and I've got one that's got no added salt or oils. So I looked up a lot of different ketchup recipes online and it seems there's a lot of different ways to make it. I actually found that I like the more complicated recipes best, but um, I understand that if you don't like to use a lot of strong um, seasonings that you might want to, you know, just pick and choose the ones that you feel comfortable using in your recipe. And uh, some of these you might want to use a little sparingly because they are strong flavors, but that's what makes this ketchup kind of fun. So all um, recipes, I almost forgot to tell you, also seem to include vinegar. Um, I happen to find a little bit of apple cider vinegar in my fridge, so I'm gonna be using that today. Um, I'm also going to put some more of the Italian spice uh, in the sauce, along with um, a pretty good amount of the mustard powder, just a pinch of cayenne, a bit of black pepper, a little bit of cinnamon surprisingly, a little bit of clove, and a little bit of allspice. I had no idea that these were in ketchup, but they seem to be standard ketchup flavorings. Alright, so first things first, we're going to cut up our potatoes and uh, put them on the baking sheet and get them in the oven so that can start cooking while we make our ketchup. Now it's really no big deal, um, you can cut the wedges pretty much however you like. Uh, Ryan is no chef and he's been able to make this dish twice, so you really can't mess it up. Um, you can cut them thin or thick. I personally think that they taste a little bit more succulent when they're a little thicker. So they don't have to be all perfectly the same. Alright, so here they are. Um, yeah, you might be saying, that's not that many french fries 
it's true we probably normally make about twice as many but I still feel kind of full from lunch so I'm not hopefully I won't regret making those few potatoes the thing is there's kind of a rule of thumb you can never make too many of these things you're always able to eat every one of them <laughs> now it's off to the oven with these bad boys I'm gonna be cooking for like 20 to 25 minutes we'll be checking on them to see uh, how golden brown they get I got my tomato paste open tomato paste is super thick so you're gonna want to water it down and everyone's gonna want a different amount of thickness I guess I'll start first thinning it down with the, um, the vinegar now, Ryan is not a big fan of vinegar but I'm gonna put one teaspoon I've got a quarter cup of uh, purified water here and I'm just gonna be putting that in until I get the consistency I want oh I've got both of the boys here so that's uh, Yogi closest and Bodhi on the far side All right, yeah I think indeed we may want that whole quarter cup I feel like I should adjust the camera so you can see them so cute they think I'm making kitty food for them again poor guys hey boys I'm so um the Italian herbs I think I'm gonna go for the full teaspoon on that the mustard's actually really important too I'm gonna go for a half teaspoon on that the black pepper I'm just gonna shake it in the cayenne, I have to be so careful with this. I often will go overboard. It's gonna be one shake for now. Cinnamon, same thing, you don't wanna to go too crazy. I'll go three shakes on that. Cloves, these can be pretty overpowering as well, so do two shakes and the allspice, little tiny bit of that. <laughs> like these guys are so sure that they're gonna like this. I feel like I really want more of the mustard, so. Do another half teaspoon, making it one full teaspoon. I feel like the mustard is really one of the flavors that makes this. Now, obviously, some people like to put um, salt in their ketchup, but I'm not going to be adding any. So I decided I'm going to try adding a little bit of my homemade celery powder to here as well. And if you want to find out how to make this, I will put a link to the video in the show notes. It's still a bit thick. I think I'm probably going to end up adding more water to it. Mmm, interesting. Mm. Some people like to add sweeteners too, like they like to add um, sometimes molasses I see in the recipes, sometimes maple. So I just happen to have some 100% uh, maple syrup in my kitchen cabinet. So I will just put a drizzle in here just to see how it changes up. So here we go, I have added almost another quarter cup of water so you could probably use a half cup total mm, uh oh I think someone's being naughty I hear the potatoes squealing in there let's check them hot these look considerably messier now that I've flipped them over and I have to say I'm really sad I didn't make twice as many darn it they smell so good all right well I'm waiting another five minutes for the other side uh, those things to golden brown, but I'd just take a little taster. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I'm just going to scoop these into my bowl and uh, let them cool off a little bit actually first. Scoop them into my bowl and then we're going to enjoy them with some ketchup. All right, so I guess it's time for the Angie B and Ryan Lum bite of approval. Mm -hmm. Once again, while Bodhi watches, <laughs> he and loves this. Once again, I timed it just right. I know, you get home I, just in time. Magical. Love it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You nailed the mm. sauce this time. I think I finally did. Mm. Just in time. Mm -hmm. Let me show you guys what it's all about here. Mmm, you know you want a bite. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fun. I should have made twice as much. I know. Leave your comments down below. Uh, like the video if you're into it. Subscribe above for more recipes and other uh, vegan lifestyle and health tips from Ryan and I here at Happy Healthy Vegan. And you know what to do until next time. Keep, Keep it, it carved, baby. Keep, Keep it carved. It carved.